We've had our Wii remotes, we've had our Kinects, we've had weird stuff like Leap Motion. Today we're looking at the latest in motion control. This is the Mayo Armband by Thalmic Labs. This is a plastic and metal cuff that fits on your arm and reads the movements of your arms and also the like myoelectric impulses traveling through your muscles. And you use that to get a theoretically minority report control over your computer. What do you think of the Mayo armband? You know what, I've been following these guys. This is a Canadian company. I'm really glad that this thing is finally out. Yeah, this is it's a been a while. The first controls for this are is potentially as a mouse or for presentations, but you can also fly drones with it. You can control your BB-8. <laughs> you know, there are a number of things that you can do with it and yet it still feels like it needs to come a yeah. little bit further and the other thing that I always come to back with is, I don't know who this is for. Yeah, again, this is one of those devices that is a, a solution in search of a problem. I mean, if I'm sitting at my computer, I've got a perfectly good keyboard and mouse in front of me that I don't really need any sort of supplementary device for. The tech is there. It's made up of these, these segments that have stainless steel backs. They, they read the electrical current in your arm. They read the motion of your arm. They read the, the position of your arm. Some of it reads really well. Like there's this ridiculous crate whacker game that comes with it where you're bashing on crates with a, with a mace. It reads sort of these broad motions really well, really accurately, like probably better than Kinect. But the thing is, when it comes to the fine fingertips, like there's there's different gestures you can do. There's this to, to synchronize your mile, but it understands things like a fist, and this is a double tap. Not all of them work consistently enough. And the minute, the minute it doesn't work consistently, you're just like, why am I using this? If this isn't going to be a replacement or, you know, a viable replacement for a device I'm already using, then it's a hard sell. You'd want like, to, this, is, this is absolutely only for early adopters right now at this point, and it is just a neat gadget, and, and that's the reason to buy it right now. So, Steve, what are you going to give Mile? It's got a ways to go right now. I think it's only a 6 out of 10. 6.5 for me.